Good morning, Salem Lutheran. Uh, this is your midweek meditation or um, message. I think I change it up every time I say it. So um, this is your midweek um, time with me at Salem Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Aaron Holmgren, and a couple of announcements before we begin our reflection. Um, if you are catching this video today, then uh, you can join us for music rehearsals. Uh, choir and bells are starting up again uh, tonight here at church. So if you can attend that, um, that'd be great. Uh, starting up next week on Wednesday is our faith formation activities in joint partnership with St. Stephen's. So um, uh, if you have kiddos in your family or in your friend groups and you want to get them signed up, you can register for that online. Uh, we also have Feed My Starving Children coming up uh, September 23rd. It's Friday from 4.30 to 6.15, and there's only 15 volunteer spots available, so please sign up for that now. The month of September is our scholarship campaign month for Magomi, Tanzania, and San Luca, Guatemala students. So um, if you have given to that in the past and want to give again, or if you want to start something new this year, uh, you can make the checkout to Salem and just put Magomi Scholarship or St. Luca Scholarship in the memo line. And then last but not least, our this Sunday event is um, God's Work, Our Hands. And so after worship, we will be gathering together to create um, what was the wordage on that? It was to create care bags for uh, persons experiencing homelessness. And so um, God's work, our hands, feels like a fairly new tradition to me, but it's been around for a while. It is something that unifies most, if not all, of our ELCA congregations together as we all dedicate this day um, to an act of service, particularly service outward into the community. And so um, what I want to reflect on today is, is the, the movement of church. And uh, we often think of church life as, as the time that we are gathered together in the sanctuary and worship. And that is an essential time in our faith, um, life together. And worship uh, alone it is full of movement as we sit and stand and, and come to the, the front, uh, to the table for, for, the, for Holy Communion. So we have movement within worship, but it's kind of a little microcosm of, of the movement that we are expected to have within this world. We gather together, we confess our sins, receive forgiveness, we worship God in glory, and with alleluias, we lift up prayers for those in need, and then we are sent out into the world to be church out there. And so with all these opportunities that we have coming up to gather for God's work, our hands, for choir and bells, for faith formation, for Feed My Starving Children, we are gathering as church. Might not be in the sanctuary, but we're still gathering. And with every one of those activities, when we leave that place, ideally we take that spirit with us out into the world to be church abroad. So as we begin kind of our, our programmatic, or, or, or the programs within the, the year as we kind of match the school year, um, let's consider all these different gatherings that we are starting anew or continuing from the summer as opportunities to recharge and then to take that invitation out into the world so that we are gathered and we are sent. And then, as we are sent, can we bring that invitation to the gathering to those who we encounter along the way? It's, it's that cycle of gathering and sending, recharging and, um, and doing ministry abroad and then inviting others into the gathering so that they too may be sent out into the world to do God's good work. 
So God's work, our hands is just one activity that we hope to do throughout this, this time of, of um, uh, programs and, and, and um, more activity than, than what we do in the summer. And so we're, we're excited about that. And um, hopefully if you have um, stayed on this long to listen, uh, hopefully you feel the invitation to come to one of these gatherings and to join us as, as we um, seek to do God's will both here and out in our neighborhood. Blessings on your day. Bye.